Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasu League semi final. 12 o'clock location. We have none other than Jiraiya, the 2v2 player Phenom. Starting as the green Zerg, bottom left hand corner, we got Urban starting as the blue Zerg. I should confess my bias is towards Urban to start. I'm really hoping he does well. However, this is going to be quite the challenge of a match for him. ZVZ can go either way. I will say ZVZ is. This is one of those things. I'm expecting this to be one of the stronger matchups of the entire series. Specifically because Urban ZVZ is incredible, and Jiraiya. I think his ZVZ is also particularly strong. We have the Overlord going to the bottom right-hand corner for Jiraiya, so Urban is going to end up with an advantageous scout to start. In my opinion, Urban, aside from being just a generally strong player right this second and improving across the board, still struggles a little bit with Terran in the mid-game transition. But I would say his strongest matchup is ZVZ. I'm not sure where he feels on the topic. It looks like he... Went for a drone cancel, which suggests we're going to see either... We'll see if it turns into a 10, pil, 10 pool or over pool. But it looks like he went for the drone cancel and is in fact going for an overlord first build. We have an overlord first build on the opposite side from Jiraiya as well. The overlord... Completing a little bit earlier. I'm not sure what the discrepancy was there. So Jiraiya able to get a few more drones out earlier, which is going to give him a bit of an economic lead. And there we see the spawning pools. So kind of a 10... 10 drone over pool build here from Urban. And Jiraiya, at least in the early game, I'm wondering if this is tournament nerves, getting a little bit of an economic edge. Urban is going to be able to wander up to see that hatchery in construction. And it looks like Urban is in fact tacking on the gas. Now we'll see if he opts. We'll try to keep an eye on that larva count and see if he opts to save the larva and go for aggressive zerglings to start. Or more likely tries to drop a sunken colony in his main and drops the earlier hatcher or the earlier tech to hive to try to press things towards a race of tech we do have the spawning pool and extractor behind this we do have an additional hatchery there from urban so it looks like he's not going to aim for so he is building initial zerglings but he's not going to aim for a advantageous tech switch we'll have to see if he's going for zergling speed first as well whether he's going to go layer to first he does have that gas up more rapidly so the tech advantage is his economic advantage currently leaning jiraiya up a drone but going to be down a bit on zerglings just now producing the zerglings which honestly will be just in the nick of time it looks like we have a slight edge as far as layer timing to urban also the vision advantage as that overlord sitting over it's going to see these zerglings as they spawn, four and grouping. The Zerglings, rather than getting aggressive, are playing defensive at Urban's natural expansion, potentially going to try to abuse the lack of vision for Jiraiya. And on top of that, this should give Urban an idea that he's down two drones right this second and does have a little bit of a gap he needs to work out. Single Zergling Scout moving out to go ahead and check out what's going on at the natural expansion. Urban going ahead and saturating Never mind, not saturating, dropping a... He wants to drop a defensive creep colony at his natural so that he can play a little bit more aggressive as far as the follow-up, it looks like. Interesting. Right now, though, Jiraiya, with the overall lead, worker-wise and otherwise, the creep colony morphing immediately. So drone count even, Jiraiya up on supply, which means he's got more Zerglings on the ground, and there's the Spire dropping a little bit earlier than Jiraiya. Yeah, so Jiraiya, he's got the lair, a little bit delayed, on that spire and so we just see that sliver of an edge overall right now a slew of zerglings moving out for jiraiya though a good amount i believe urban saw them so let's see if jiraiya is able to get some purchase and swing through i neither player has invested in zergling speed as of yet we have more zerglings being built from urban to deal with the incoming surge but jiraiya continuing to Press ahead, getting three additional workers out on the field. He's got that natural expansion gas up much more rapidly than Urban. So everything on paper right now in Jiraiya's favor. Things can switch very, very rapidly when you start talking about what happens in the air. And what happens as far as the follow-up. Urban down two drones. Looking to grab it. 
Actually, that is Zergling speed. I missed it. Thanks for chat. So it's also Zergling speed versus no Zergling speed. That is gonna. That probably helps with the spire delay a little bit. The Zerglings fanning out in large numbers right now. Some of them from Jiraiya trying to pocket out, but it looks like the the additional Zerglings playing defensively. This creep colony getting dropped. It is not going to be in time, but these are Zerglings with Zergling speed, which means they tend to be a lot more intelligent. Urban hoping that by tossing these Zerglings at the natural expansion on the Spire timing that he might be able to force some timing out. What this might do ultimately is give him, so he spotted the Overlord, that might provide him an opportunity to go for the initial Overlord that's out in the field and play some catch up from there. Right now though, Jiraiya up two workers, has Zergling speed on top of everything else, and he's got more gas to work with. So potentially in a just generally more advantageous position, single Zergling spotting the Mutalists as they're fanning out, notices that they moved to defend there. And Scourge going to go ahead and check out what's going on as far as saturation, etc. Let's see if they get picked off. Ooh, able to snipe at one Mutalisk, leaving it heavily damaged. And second one going to get picked off. So things not going well for Urban overall. He's got seven Mutalisks in the air, and one of them is heavily damaged versus seven of his opponent that have full health. Was able to pick off a Scourge. In between, he's also down two workers. So right now... Dry and firm control. Both players playing very macro passive, though. The Dark Arts. A couple additional Scourge being fielded by Urban to potentially land some hits and even things up. He needs to be the aggressor if he's going to sneak back into this. Some additional Scourge making their way out to go ahead and scout things out for Dry or maybe snipe a quick unit. Looks like some Overlords are hiding in the rear corner there. Scourge. Ooh. Able to spot things momentarily. Single Zergling out for Jiraiya. Going to provide forewarning. Counter Scourge hit. I don't think that Scourge hit. I do believe it in fact was taken out. Because we still have that single wounded Mutalisk. But Urban moving up to engage. And actually, Jiraiya fanning out. I think he wants him to commit. So one drone picked off. Dry still up three workers, but that was a gas drone as well. Another gas drone picked off. And a couple Zerglings scooting in. They've actually been able to sneak into the main. And with that, just... Okay, still a two-worker lead. But Urban closing the gap. And that was a, a larger attack. I think that was an equivalent slash larger attack force potentially for Jiraiya. Jiraiya dropping an interior base third hatchery. No additional hatchery yet for Urban. This is 300 resources that get sunk, though, which can hurt the Mutalist count. So Urban opportunistically might end up a little bit ahead. He's starting his armor a little bit later here than Jiraiya. Not by a window that'll be noticeable. But with if that third hatchery, but uh, on a top of that four drone lead, come to fruition, Jiraiya should be able to comfortably push things out. Urban doing a little bit to get himself in a good position past this, but not able to get a lot else accomplished. He's already sent out a Zergling to just try to detect what's going on. Jiraiya confirming that there's not additional bases out in the field as well. Kind of spreading some Zerglings out. The Zergling's going to go ahead and get sniped to prevent additional vision. A Zergling, I, I want to point this out, a single Zergling that I missed from Urban pocketed in the corner. This could be huge. First of all, to scout that hatchery, which I believe would trigger an attack from Urban. But also, to maybe get some drone kills at an opportunistic moment. Urban going ahead and clearing out the vision. He's still working. So now he's working on inferior hatcheries. He's actually back behind in supply. But suggests that Jiraiya has <coughs> a larger mutilist count. And that armor is going to kick in. For Jiraiya, and if he doesn't move out within the next two minutes, Jiraiya is just going to have an overwhelming amount of everything because he just has more larva to work with to keep pumping things out. Even without that uh, additional expansion, it looks like a single drone actually moving out to maybe grab an additional base. Urban continuing to go ahead and field out the Mutalisks. Big economic lead, so Urban needs to win it through micro in the air potentially while things are somewhat close. I think he's hoping to hit 
a plus one armor window. Unfortunately, it's not there, and he hasn't moved into scout to discover that third hatchery as of yet. Zerglings, running after Zerglings here. We do have that drone pocketing itself at the 12 o'clock location. That would be another 300 minerals sunk, giving Urbmon maybe an opportunity, but honestly, even, even with that, with these third ha with the third hatchery and full saturation from Jiraiya, he's just outproducing Urbmon right this second. Big air fleet out for Urbmon, though, so it's not over yet. Anything potentially could happen. The Zergling's still checking things out. Now that that 12 o'clock has been vacated with the Zergling, Urbmon, uh, Jiraiya going to go ahead and sneak in behind this. And armor just finishing. We have a large Mutalisk Ball. Actually kind of a rare thing in a ZVZ match. We haven't seen any Overlords picked off on either direction at this stage. Armor 1 finished for Jiraiya. Armor 1 just about to complete for Urbmon. Urbmon actually might have been able to sneak a little bit of an advantage for Mutalisk, but he needs to go into his opponent's territory at a closer reinforcement point in order to get something accomplished. Zerglings, in the meantime, spotting everything out. That hatchery has been sealed in. Six o'clock base actually getting grabbed, and now Urban moves in and sees that third hatchery. Let's see if that triggers any form of response. That Zergling gonna get creamed. Not sure if he recognizes how long that base has been up as well. Certainly, it looks like it's not triggering any sort of movement. So instead, he's gonna try to grab this six o'clock, but unfortunately that's gonna be matched by an earlier base by Jiraiya, and on top of that, he's just got extra larva to work with to sneak in additional Zerglings that can push in underneath. And we're seeing that in the difference of supply right this second. Jiraiya fanning out, Zerglings streamlining to the 6 o'clock location. That's going to force a fight. That's going to force movement of Mutalus to that location. And then Jiraiya is going to be free to counterattack anywhere he wants out on the field, honestly. And that hatchery, honestly, oof, that took a lot of damage. <clears throat> And that's going to be a constant threat. That's also providing time for Jiraiya to go ahead and defensively move the drones out and cap that third gas. And if things weren't already bad, they're about to get a lot worse for Urban right this second. Eight worker lead for Jiraiya. Moving into the late game, a massive Mutalisk flock. No weapons up, or no, I should say, no upgrade advantage, but he does have it by a small timing window. And I'm not sure that Urban recognizes that that third base is up ahead of his. He's grabbing that third gas as well, but down 13 workers at this stage. And even on army otherwise, down a macro hatch. And two Zerglings again filtering in. Might even be able to catch a drone. Looks like they're not going to retarget, but softening up that hatchery considerably. It is Jiraiya's game to lose right now. Recognizing the strong macro position, just holding back and continuing to build that massive air fleet. has Certainly has a vision advantage. Is now moving out with a few Zerglings underneath with that massive Mutalus flock. Unfortunately for Jiraiya, those Zerglings leading a bit too far, few of them getting wiped out. And this grouping of Mutalisks for, for Urban gonna get outnumbered. That six o'clock gonna get slogged. Urban not engaging, and as a result, the Zerglings able to clear that out, and that is a huge loss on top of an already huge loss. Urban needs to attack someplace. The Mutal is actually splitting for Jiraiya, moving up to the 12 o'clock. He's got creep colonies and sunken colonies, shelling himself well in. You can see really knows what he's doing at this stage and knows how to close this out. Urban needs to, I think he's going to wait for plus two armor, hope that he has a weapon, an armor upgrade, and then just dive. Because that's his one shot. So moving out, might be able to catch Dry out of position, which would be a huge turn of events. Some more Zergling's going to check out the six o'clock location, find nothing there, which should provoke a defensive scooping. Right now, for Dry out, he doesn't have vision on that Mutalist flock, which has to leave him somewhat nervous. So he's just pocketing his army in between a defensive location at the natural and the main. More Mutalists continuing to be built by Urban, but he's got such a massive deficit. Now gathering up, plus two armors finished. Plus one weapons is on its way from Jiraiya, but it's do or die now for Urban, trying to redrop the six o'clock. 
gathering up for a sizable attack. Now the question is, is where does it go? No defensive spores at either location. The Overlord's going to spot the Mules incoming. Now it comes down to a bit of focus fire, and this is, keep in mind, a close reinforcement point and a larger Mutalist flock for Jiraiya. Should be able to swarm this, and that should be GG. Yeah, the Mutalist dwindling. Scourge coming in. Urban trying to retreat with what he has. And Jiraiya still with a massive counter army. And yeah, that, that should be it. That should be GG right there. Urban cannot stem the tide. He cannot defend his natural expansion, nor his main, nor any additional expansion. That's just an overwhelming attack force. 40 supply deficit. So Jiraiya... And it is plus two Carapace versus plus two. Although Jir Jiraiya giving some benefit here, splitting off a little bit of his army. Now wiping out the drones. Urban re-engaging at the natural expansion. I still think this is too large an attack force, plus all the economic advantages, but Urban going to fight close to the last Munis. Going to GG right there. Some solid macro from Jiraiya. Able to carry him through game one. We'll see if Urban can turn it around as the series continues. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.